Well, hello everybody. Welcome to Blue Marble Science. How stupid can you be? Well, I'll tell you what, if you're Brian's logic, there are really no known limits. Warning. Severe derp dead ahead. You guys hang on. Hello, how are you doing? <clears throat> this is going to be a quick video on the truth of what is a nautical mile. Because there's a lot of rubbish out there about them being connected to a globe art, which is not true. <clears throat> Nothing to do with a globe art whatsoever. Actually, ah, he's full of shit. <laughs> yes, he is, isn't he? Brian, a nautical mile is one fifty-four hundredth of the distance from either pole to the equator. It's one twenty-one thousand six hundredth of the circumference of the Earth at the equator. It's been that way for a long, long time. You don't get to make up new definitions, my friend. What is a nautical mile? <clears throat> one nautical mile equals one minute of degree. One minute of arc, Brian, not one minute of degree. 60 minutes of degree equals one degree. So one degree equals 60 nautical miles. Degrees are measured with angles. And angles to the celestial objects measure a difference in degrees from a starting point of 90 degrees. For example, an angle that is 36 degrees off the horizon means that there is a deficit of 54 degrees from the 90. That's called a complement, Brian, not a deficit. So that's 54 degrees of celestial distance from the observer's position, which gives us a straight line sky measurement of 54 degrees by 16 nautical miles, which is 3,240 nautical sky miles. No, Brian, those are not quite uh, sky miles. That's 3,240 nautical surface miles from your position to the GP of the celestial object. Jeez. So nautical miles have absolutely nothing to do with the surface of a globe out. They are a measurement of the sky, which are then translated onto the Earth's surface via the zeniths of the observer and chosen celestial object. What we've got here is failure to communicate. Surface-based measurement is done in statuate miles. A statuate miles are not a reference of or determined by the sky. Only, only nautical miles are a measurement of and determined by the sky. There is no such thing as a globe-based nautical mile. The word nautical is defined as of or concerning navigation, sailors, or the sea, maritime. The word nautical has no connection whatsoever with heliocentric belief or claims. There is no globe miles. Thank you. Dumber than a second coat of paint. <laughs> well, how are you doing? This is a follow-on from my earlier video um, about the nautical mile. <clears throat> this is a this is called uh, the nautical mile explained. Because there were some people on our opposing side who didn't seem to understand my earlier video, regardless of how straightforward it was. Oh, we don't have any trouble understanding what you said, Brian. What we have trouble with is believing you would say anything that dumb. Listen, the division of the hour into sixty minutes. And of the minute into 60 seconds comes from the Babylonians. They used a sexagesimal counting system for mathematics and astronomy. They derived their number system from the Sumerians who were using it as early as 3500 BC. They liked the number 60 and the number 360 because you can divide those numbers by so many other numbers. 360 in fact can be divided by every number between 1 and 10 except 7. The nautical mile comes from dividing the circumference of the Earth by 360 degrees times 60 minutes per degree, or 21,600 minutes, such that one minute equals one nautical mile. That's where it comes from. The statute mile, on the other hand, comes by way of statute or law. It was established by a Weights and Measures Act of Parliament in 1593. And I quote, A mile shall contain eight furlongs, each furlong forty poles, and every pole shall contain sixteen foot and an half. Now that's rather awkward English, but it was written in 1593. In fact, you can say the distance of one statute mile is actually related to 
the length of some king's arm divided by three. That's where the foot comes from. This stuff is well known throughout the historical record, Brian. All you've got to do is look it up. Okay, this is very simple. Okay, <clears throat> here is the GP of the star. Here is the observer. Here is a 40 degree angle, right, to the star, which is here. Okay, this is the observer zenith here. This is the zenith of the GP of the star. They have a cool altitude. Okay, I'm just going to read this out here. Then I'm going to show a very, very quick demonstration to show exactly what nautical miles are and why there there are 16 nautical miles per degree. Okay, <clears throat> 40 degrees of angle. Okay, 40 degrees of angle leaves a deficit from 90 of 50 degrees, which works out at as 3,000 navigators minutes or 3,453.338 statuate miles of surface distance. But, but a more well-known term when referring to navigators minutes is nautical miles. Well, that brings up a couple of questions. Number one, where can I find a citation for the term navigators minutes? Or is that just something you made up? The question's rhetorical, don't bother answering. Obviously, this is just a case of flat earthers wanting to rename something that's well understood like nautical miles. But here's a serious question. How was that sky distance measured in the sky without reference to the ground, Brian? I'll tell you what, though. While you ponder those two questions, you got a big problem. This is Polaris over the North Pole. We know that each degree of latitude is 60 nautical miles. You guys even agree with that. That means the 45 degree latitude would be 2,700 nautical miles. In other words, 60 nautical miles times 45 degrees of latitude from the pole. Because it's 45 degrees, the altitude of Polaris would also be 2,700 nautical miles. But at a 15 degree latitude, the distance to the pole would be 10,076 nautical miles. That's almost twice the measured distance to the equator. Wow. And it gets worse. At 5 degrees, the distance to the pole would be a whopping 30,861 nautical miles. You guys can't explain this. But I got the perfect solution. Let the Earth be spherical. Let the light coming from Polaris be parallel at every point on Earth as we know it to be. Measure the angle to Polaris relative to our local zenith and suddenly every distance matches our observations. Now try to come up with an answer for that. As they had to convert every single navigator's minute into an Earth surface equivalent and that is why 60 navigator's minutes became 60 nautical miles. Attention, attention, attention. This is the important part. Navigator's minutes are sky miles and have absolutely nothing to do with a globe out or heliocentrism. Nautical miles reference the sky and statuate miles reference the earth. One is for distance, statuate miles, and the other is for navigation, nautical miles, or navigator's minutes. Okay, so this is how it works, right? So see this purple line here? This is the 3000 navigator's minutes, okay? Or 3453 statuate miles, right? In a straight line distance. But because it's in the sky, it's not a mile, right? It's not a statuate mile. So what they had to do is take all these navigator's minutes, right? Once they have uh, determined that distance, which is a co-altitude distance, they then take those 3,000 navigator's minutes and bring them down to the surface of the earth and call them nautical miles. That's why there is three, sorry, that is why there is 60 nautical miles per degree, because there are 60 minutes per degree, right? 60 navigator's minutes per degree. That is why we have 60 nautical miles per degree, but we have 69 statuate miles. Statuate miles are surface-based measurement, okay? Whereas nautical miles, or a better term for them, navigator's minutes, okay, are a sky-based navigation distance.
two different things, right? Just because they have the word moil behind them, one is statute and one is nautical. Look at the word nautical. What does it mean? It means navigation. It's a navigation moil, right? Nautical moils, navigation moils, navigators minutes. That's what's going on. So it has nothing to do with a globe, nothing to do with the center of anything or any other idiotic claim. Okay, they're navigators minutes. That's why there are 60 of them per degree, because uh, 60 uh, nautical miles per degree, because there's 60 navigators minutes per degree. Now, I can't make it any more simple than this. Either you get it or you don't get it. Thank you. He's full of shit. And again, Brian, you don't get to rewrite history to suit your narrative. The nautical mile comes from dividing the circumference of the earth by 21,600 minutes of arc, which is one complete 360 degree circle. The statute mile comes from an act of parliament defined as eight furlongs with a furlong being 40 poles and a pole containing 16 and a half feet. That's 5,280 feet decreed by the British Parliament. Well, how are you doing? <clears throat> this is called Origin of the Nautical Moil. Um, this is the third video in this series that I've made. I've made two other short videos just before this. Uh, they can be found on my channel. Um, <clears throat> I may have to make a fort, depending on our opposition, because our opposition have a very, very difficult time understanding this, as they have been making a claim for a long time now, which is not correct. And I'm showing how it's not correct. Um, I may have to make a fort video, and in that I may need to use visuals, uh, the visuals of uh, the latitude and longitude grid and explain a few things. But hopefully I won't. Hopefully this will get the message through. Uh, let's just say, <clears throat> but we'll see what happens. <clears throat> so nautical sky minutes or miles, an 88.3 degree angle taken to, to a celestial body will leave a deficit of 1.7 degrees of sky distance, which translates as 102 minutes of degree, also known as 102 nautical sky miles, which can then be transferred onto the Earth's surface as 117.3 statute land miles. Nautical moils are sky moils, statuate moils are land moils. The difference between the two is as follows. Statuate moils are, are a distance measured in feet and inches along the, the Earth's surface, but nautical moils are a distance measured in degrees and minutes and seconds of degrees along the sky via an elevation angle. No, Brian, nautical miles are not measured in degrees. A nautical mile is a distance. Degrees are a measurement of an angle. A nautical mile is one twenty-one thousand six hundredth of the circumference of the Earth. You have got this completely wrong. Also known as the Pythagorean 90 degree right angle, which is constructed via three straight lines, where the first line is a vertical zenith, the second is a straight line horizontal baseline, which becomes your zenith distance, and the third line is your angle line off of your horizontal. Your angle will be read and measured in degrees and minutes of degree, and these minutes of degree are nautical sky miles, and that is the reason why nautical miles can be used on the sea, on land or in the air as they originate as minutes of degree along the sky, and the navigator then translates them directly one for one as nautical sky miles. These nautical sky minutes or miles can then be transferred onto the earth's surface below and then if one chooses, they can be converted to statuate land miles, feet, inches, meters, kilometers, centimeters, millimeters, etc. But they originate, but they originate as minutes of degree along the sky. So nautical miles are only just are only just a straight line sky miles. <coughs> Sorry. So nautical miles are only just straight line sky miles that are transferred from the sky to the earth. They are nothing more than minutes of degree, which are only a straight line sky distance, which is then transferred onto the Earth's surface as another straight line mirrored distance. <clears throat> and the globe Earth has nothing to do with any of this, as is proven by the origin and purpose of the nautical mile. Hopefully this will get the message through, 
our opposition are having a very difficult time with this because they can't understand that they have been led to believe that the nautical mile is something that it's not. Um, thanks for watching. Um, hopefully there won't be a fourth video. Well, let's see if we can summarize this. Navigator miles is not a term referenced in any known form throughout all of history. That's something you just made up, Brian. Nautical miles are based on the circumference of the planet, and they have zippity doodah to do with the sky. Statute miles are a legal distance essentially based on the length of the King of England's arm and the arbitrary definitions of a foot, a rod, and a furlong, and the fact that nautical miles and statute miles are only about 15% different in length is a pure coincidence. Does that pretty well sum it up? There you have it, folks. Brian's logic coming to a clown museum near you in the not too distant future. Hey, thanks for watching. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Don't forget the like and subscribe buttons down there. Shout out to the patrons and PayPal's. And I'll see you guys on the next one.